Project at hand. Huh. All right. Well, let's see. Cold start. Uh oh. It's your boy again, Impala Move, back with another video. I'm about to do a review on some stuff. I've been kind of trying to do a... Look at me, looking like a fool. Hold on. Let's fix that. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to do a review on product, man. I've been I've been uh, going to upgrade my, up, my uh, inside speakers for a while, so... I figured now is the time. I got them for cheap. I keep hearing good things about them, and uh, why not try them out? You help me hook them up, and maybe we can get some good tunes out of them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Who said it doesn't rain in Southern Arizona? It doesn't rain in Southern Arizona. And they tell me. Yeah. Got the clouds, bro. Yeah. But back to the subject at hand. Today, we're going to be in Scarlet. A little bit of Scar. Yeah, this is what we have today. The 6x9 coil coaxial speakers. And the 4x6 coaxial speakers. Um. I've heard really good things. This is actually uh, my first time really, really, really um, having them in my hand. Every store that I went to in Arizona, either I've got the wrong direction or <laughs> they don't have them. So, yeah, let's see what they're talking about. All right, so here they are. Zoom out. Oh, 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 there we go. All right, so here we are. I don't know, for some reason, people on YouTube like fucking with bags, so we're going to do this just for a minute because I hate that goddamn sound. Let me get this out of the plastic. I took mine out before. I hate that damn sound. Ugh. It's just disgusting. I don't know. But looking at it, looks like really good quality. These are the 4x6s going on my doors. They look really good. Look really good. Six by nines is what I'm waiting to hear though. Really, really want to see what they talking about. There's tensions in the detail. This is uh what is it? What'd they say? Uh, which one? Okay. It's the owner's manual. Six nine, boom. They give you uh, some good little uh, things about it. Handles two hundred watts. That's the one we had two hundred forty watts, ninety dBs. Damn. A lot of hertz. Yeah, Looks like they're good. Fiberglass cone. Okay. It's got a nice little tweeter on it too. So yeah. Nicely ready to hear these play. So let's get to it. 
All right. Now back. We're at the T40, TX46. That's where we're at right there. So we right here. We're at the bottom of the moop. I almost bought these two. The five. At the bottom of the moop. I almost bought these two. These are component speakers. So we got full top of the moop. But, yeah, whatever. Well, actually, these are the top of the moop. But, whatever. There's always room for upgrade. So, not really tripping. Ooh, there we go. Not really tripping, but. Sorry, I'm still learning my camera, so just, just give me a little bit. All right, but yeah, it looks like pretty good speakers. We're gonna, we're gonna unload them into the car and see what we get into them, all right? All right, it's time for these to go bye-bye. These right here. I got all kicker speakers. They still work. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. But with the 215s I have in the back, they really can't keep up that well. A little flimsy so yeah these gotta go they all right speakers they're not too bad i've always been a kicker man so um yeah <sighs> time just time to say goodbye to them man um i've had all types of kickers i had the l7s i had the the vrx's i had most of the not really super high powered i've never had the solo x or nothing like that i never really like try to destroy my car but just enough to have some really really bassy bassy sound um actually this is the first car i've ever had with six by nines believe it or not um the car i had had a lot smaller speakers but for some reason they had better speaker quality uh better sound quality and i've never changed the the inside speakers out on anything else with this to be perfectly honest me and my dad have always changed the speakers out always changed the speakers out in his cars because for some odd reason they they just never work properly so or had any good sound and dealing with honda i'm a honda guy for my commute back and forth to anywhere because they just get the amazing gas mileage i've always wanted an impala ss it's like my dream car like legitly my dream car um since i was little i've always wanted a 95 96 96 preferable but 95 i could deal with and i have one now um, I sp actually spoke that into existence. Funny story about that was I had got, <laughs> I'm an income tax baby. So whenever the income tax comes in, uh, yeah, I'm looking to spend that joint with the quickness, but I got my income tax back and, um, yeah, I went online, said, Hey, I want a project car. I was starting automotive school and, um, went online, put in Impala SS and it came up. It was only up on the site for like maybe an hour. And it was at a mom and pop shop in North Phoenix off of Deer Valley Road in 19th Avenue, I believe, somewhere around there. And I just said, fuck it. Typed it in there, hey, when can I come in and see it? I got four grand put down on it, boom, it was six grand. What I did was crazy because I had no license at the time. I had a lot of shit going on and this shit fucking I'm gonna buy it anyway so when I got up there at the time it was my girlfriend but my wife uh, she needed a car too I was literally about to buy her another Impala SS a 2006 but uh, she ended up not wanting it or I would have actually bought it for her I would have had two cars at the same time two Impalas at the same time um, but I bought the car brought it home um, some fortunate unfortunate scene of events happened my regular day-to-day -day car ended up getting taken away. That's another story for another day, and you know who you are. I, you're going to have to see me. But um, this became the daily driver. Engine blew. Like 11 months later, I ended up getting a Honda Ridgeline from the graces of God from my dad. He hooked me up. Um, gave me a, legitly an early Christmas present. So... I ended up having that, um, and then I ended up getting the Honda. She ended up getting the car too, so, but yeah, this is how I ended up doing this. I ended up getting the motor rebuilt. The motor was, uh, 
motor was pretty pricey to get rebuilt and I couldn't work on this one for a very long time. Uh, but like I said, I'm here now. I'm in the process of doing everything. Uh, it's going to be a fun ride. I wanted to vlog all of it so we can make sure that we have uh, some fun with it. And uh, you see my experience in my eyes and how I want to make my car. So we're going to start off with them joints right there. Them joints got to come out. And those down there in the speakers. Now, see, I'll be getting new door panels here soon. They just real pricey anywhere you go. They want 400. The dash too. The dash is ridiculous. Oh, there's wifey. Uh, the dash is ridiculous. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it going. All right. So I got the speaker off and out, and we gonna look. Yeah, goes right there. Has a basket that it goes in to fit in here take all that out i got the door off these doors are rickety so i don't take them all the way apart until i buy new ones and when i buy new ones i'll be able to do whatever i want to do you see whoever had it last did this and yeah these are about four hundred dollars um <laughs> yeah uh i'm working on funds of that like i told you before in my last video i work for the state uh yeah, we don't get paid that much money, state of Arizona. So, anyway, anywho, uh, yeah, we're going to be working on this. I got these. You see the difference in between the two. The tweeter is a, looks exceptionally bigger than these kickers. Uh, these have actually been in progress and work for a very long time, so they should be loose. These are a lot tighter. They look better, though. These definitely look better than those. So, all right, back to work, putting it in. Yay! Back at work. We got this speaker done. We're working on two in the back. Let's go. So I got the job all done. Everything looks good. It looks good. It actually sounds really, really good. I had to drive around the corner uh, using my phone, so I can't, I can't uh, put everything on there as far as how it sounds. You be the judge for yourself. The link be in the description of the bio, in the bio, or what I bought and put into it. I should have got the six and a halves, but neither here nor there. I don't have the instruments to. Uh, fabricate the six and a half circle for it it is what it is though it sounds really really good i eq'd it out everything is like right where it needs to be no question whatsoever uh i turn my base all the way up i keep my base in the negatives my base is turns uh it goes down to negative uh 50 and goes up to positive 50 and i got it to negative 18 and that motherfucker is slumping 
Uh, I got Dino Mad in the trunk, as you've seen in other videos, and it's still shaking the trunk. It's shaking like a motherfucker. The next video will probably be more, uh, I'm just waiting on the Dino Mat to come in for the roof of the, um, the roof of uh, the Impala, and then I'm gonna take it to the interior shop and start working on all that stuff. The headliner, the visors, um, uh, the back rear deck parcel, all that stuff. I'm gonna start working on all that and get it all squared away, and then we're gonna work on the trunk. Actually, I should work on the box first so I can cut out whatever I need to cut out to vent it. I want it ported inside of the, um, inside the cabin. I don't know though. That's gonna be extremely loud. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, on top of that, I think I should do two more uh, six by nines back there. Or uh, since I got the six by the four by sixes in the doors, do four by uh, six and a halves in the second doors. I'm gonna put all four tweets in there. So that's that's neither here nor there. That's gonna happen regardless. I need those tweeters. Um, you know, I think she's coming along quite well. You see her. She looks real good. Ooh, look at that ass. Mm, that ass is fat. Ooh, that ass is super fat. Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, uh, I do like the scar speakers. I had the kickers in there before, the three-way. But them SCAR 6x9s and them SCAR 4x6s, uh, they're legit. They hit every frequency range. They're tough. And they ain't even broke in yet. So I can give you an update on the on the on um, on those in a little bit as far as breaking them in and hear what they sound like. So they normally say give them a 24-hour period. I don't drive this car very, very much. I will, though, because it's starting to cool down. Um, and I just want... It's my weekend car. That's that's all this is. <laughs> yeah. See the tag? The tag. Yeah. That's the next trip. Emissions. It was drivable. It's not drivable on the streets anymore until I get emissions. So we working on that too. I don't I'm just gonna end up taking it straight to emissions because it there's nothing wrong with the car. Get an oil change and go straight to admission. Uh but yeah. There it is. It's another upgrade to the sound system that I have in there and onward process to the next project within this car. The very last thing is probably going to be the paint on it. Like I said, as soon as I get the paint on it, um, I'm actually looking for suggestions for paint. I don't want to quite do a candy. Like I said, I work for the state of Arizona. They don't pay a shit. So candy is out the paint, out the budget. It's way out the budget. I'm not spending 10 grand. I'm not spending 10 grand on a fucking paying job. Unless somebody gonna give it to me for free. I'll take sponsors all day. But, um, whew, beautiful day. Got muggy real quick out here. But, uh, yeah, it's your boy Impala Move. Back with another update on the Impala Project. I'm trying to get this pinned away as quickly as possible because the winters come winning winters in arizona it's our time to drive and put the windows down my ac does work in the car the fuses just keep popping anybody got a uh a suggestion on that hit me up i need to know i'm checking everything i'm not gonna do it right now it's it's muggy i'm tired gotta work tomorrow yeah but it's your boy impala move I'm back with another video like Share, subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, I'm gonna be dropping a couple more videos. I'm trying to drop one once every week, if the budget allows, depending on what I'm trying to do, once every week or once every two weeks um, to get this mug up on the road. And uh, you'll hear it. I think I'm gonna do Scar 12s. I do. I think I'm gonna do three Scar 12s with a Scar 3500 watt amp. I don't know. I might do two 15s with a SCAR 30 watt, 100, uh, 3500 watt amp. I said 30, 30 watt 500, <laughs> whatever. 3500 watt amp, I think I'm gonna do a, uh, two 15s to 3500 watt, the step above the very best, not the DNR, but the S, SVK, I think it is. Uh, and uh, go from there. I don't know, still in the air. Put your suggestions, what you think I should do, think I shouldn't do. 
Um, like I said, yeah, that's it.